Morning everybody. Good morning. Morning Milo. School photos today. Mm -hmm. The Milo hair. Sometimes they just want to see it. I'll get out a shot look. <laughs> I'll just stare right into that lens look and say that's my hair today. That's my hair today. <laughs> Looking cool, bruh! So filming out at Dawlish Warren again today. It's not as windy, which is going to be a boner. I was expecting it to be very windy, but you never know. Is it windy? It's not windy yet. And it's dry. So yesterday's question, who's going to win the US Open? Lots of mixed responses. Sir Joker Cool, I think. Ram, very good call. DJ Calls as well. People send courses long, typical US Open, long type. Oh. Lee Westwood as well. I don't know if I'm ready to make my pick yet. I think Ram is a very good pick. I'll wait and see then. So today's question, I did a video reporting back on my MP5, so the bladed iron experiment yesterday, which people are enjoying, but I still get that interesting one. What do you think game improvement irons can do? So people talk about me not hitting far enough away from the middle, test them properly. I literally don't know where they're getting this from. I guess some people are just so easily sold, aren't they? So what difference do you think it makes? So is it in yardage? And if so, how much? And as a percentage compared to the irons? So if you hit away from the middle, what's the drop off compared, do you think? Is it left and right misses? What is the difference? Ah, cause, go on, let me know. Post those comments down below. Arrived out of Dawlish, and you can forget everything I said about the wind because it is still pretty windy. We are obviously next to the sea here. So today's vlog is going to be slightly different again. I'm going to show you some of my kind of biggest issues I see with golfers when it comes to holding the golf club. Such a common search term, such a common, I think, misunderstood term still. So let's show you some kind of ideas around your grip, how to hold the golf club. So golf grip issue number one, this one is rampant amongst golfers and really overlooked I always think. It's this one, standing here. So ignore posture, my posture I always think is inspired by this hold, I see it over and over again. This move is inspired by this hold. So kind of very breakdown, not much body movement. It comes from there, holding it there. We need to get it in this part of your palm more, not up here. Two simple ways of doing this. First one, which is very effective for most golfers, club out, parallel to the ground, or as parallel as you can get it, hands down to the ground, wrap around. Now you're gonna see all four knuckles at this stage. When I bring the club back down to the ground, you only wanna see two or two and a half is a good benchmark to start. That gets the club lower in that palm, away from up through the middle. The other way of thinking about doing it, if I put my palm or fingers down to the ground, I'm just gonna turn my hand so I can see two knuckles, and then what I'm gonna do is just point my fingers in at my left heel. So you can see they're going that way, club through, that again gets that club in that lower part of that palm. What most people prefer to do, certainly newer golfers, and I see accomplished golfers do this as well, it's hand down by the club, you can see where the club sits through the palm, and then just hold on. Now, if you're a skilled player and you grip it with your hands, or the club going through the middle of your palm, and you're happy with how you're playing, keep playing that way. I don't see many of them. I see the odd few, but not many. Most golfers, this is a common rampant mistake with grip. Definitely one you wanna get out of the habit of to start making some better moves and give you some better face to path control. How's that? Oh, look. <laughs> How's she treating you? Very nicely. Yeah? Not a bit Ooh. big in the hand? Look how smart it is. Oh, God. Jet no case black. yet. No case. Not yet. No. On its way. I was going to say, you'll be a bit panicky about that case, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> bro. <laughs> me down is when I see good players and good players doesn't mean two handicap ten handicap compared to 20 handicap you can be a good 20 handicapper so what I mean by that is you're competent at 20 you play to that consistently that's the standard you've got to and you can compete at it so I see competent players changing their grip because they think their grip isn't textbook I can show you loads of PGA Tour successful golfers gripping it too strong Alazabal, Spieth, gripping it what we would call too weak. 
but they work it into their whole action and into their patterns of shots. So I can play with any grip. I feel more comfortable playing with the grip I was taught and grew up with. Now I'm not saying don't use a neutral grip if it gives you the best options, because the only thing with some twisted grips, also very strong or very weak, is they can affect loft up and down, and then what happens is it limits them when they use their lower or higher lofted clubs. That's the only thing I feel you need to consider. When it comes to hitting target, I can grip it, four knuckles, right hand underneath the club, and still hit target, because I understand how to get that movement out of my body to control the face. At the end of the day, if you're controlling face to path, if you go to a good coach, they won't care what grip you're using. Don't just change grip because you've watched some video and they said you should see two knuckles rather than the four you see if you're playing to a decent standard. If there's limitations, go and see a pro, see if you can get those limitations changed with a grip change. Otherwise, you're just changing because you want to look better. That doesn't help. Well, I'll put it down. So when it comes to textbook grips, here's a brief overview of what I like to see in a grip, but like I said, I can move around grip for students subject to what they deliver. But kind of general ideas. So this part of the palm, not this part. I like a student to look down and see two to three knuckles subject to what kind of wrist angles they are able or willing to put in. I like the thumb on the left hand to be just right a center and not too extended, just kind of squished up a little bit. Right hand, I don't care if you 10 finger, interlock or overlap makes no difference to me i personally like an interlock right hand's going to go through the fingers diagonally through the fingers and then wrapping on top so more like you'd almost hold a pen or a pencil i hate right hand holds that are stuck in the fist i don't mind if you play good golf from there but i don't see many and it limits what kind of twists and turns you can put into the club which then seriously affects loft makes longer clubs harder to hit but then when the right hand is on top of that club i like to see a v between the thumb and the first finger pointing somewhere up towards right shoulder ideas Big thing I like to see, and this idea helps so many, to get away from the fist hold, which is so common, I like to see this part of your first finger on your right hand getting up the side of the club. To do that, you need a little bit of a gap going on here. If you want your textbook grip, there's some ideas. with your grip so you don't need to be stuck in one position let me show you what I mean so around the greens look I'm down near the metal to hit a chip shot I might even use my putting grip which we'll talk about in a second to hit a chip shot and then I might come near the top of the grip or middle twist the club so the clubs now twisted within my grip to add loft to play another kind of chip shot. So many golfers, certainly new golfers, they're taught how to hold the club and then they just do not want to play with it. You've got to experiment with your grip to get the most out of it. Coming down the handle, coming up, moving it up through your palm for the putting grip, which we'll talk about in a second, to play a really delicate shot. Experiment to get different feels, different results. And the no grip video really is complete without talking about putter grip. I see this mistake a lot. So golfers who aren't particularly great at putting, using their golf grip, this part of the palm, strong turn into locks, overlaps, whatever, twisting right hands on top. So using a grip that is good for making these kind of actions to try and putt, it can affect the way you stand, the rotations of the face, how much power you put on it. It's a bit of a pet peeve of mine with students because I love putting, it's something I've always enjoyed doing. I like to see a putter grip when you got your putter in your hands. Now there's many variations on a putting grip. Let's give you like the most standard one if you like. The one I use, reverse overlap. So we're talking first finger going over these three, running down the club, optional right finger running down the club. But the big thing is my palms are on the club this way, very opposite to what we were talking about with holding the golf club. I've got my hands pointing my palms, feeling more at the target. It feels weaker, it feels more delicate, and that's what I want. I want real control over what this blade is doing. I don't want to be adding loads of power. Good variations on this grip is the prayer grip, so both fingers down each side of the grip, and then just marrying those two thumbs together. Again, getting those palms, kind of feeling like they're facing up towards target more, feeling like they're facing more where you're gonna swing the putter. Everyone talks about golf grip. There must have been a million golf grip videos done, and I've done loads. But having that contradiction between putter 
and how you normally hold your club is important for controlling the two disciplines. Right, fun day filming at Dawlish Warren. Right, Mummy is out working late tonight doing school stuff and I'm very tired. Like me. So, like Nyla is very tired. Um. All is yawning. Vanilla's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to McDonald's for tea. That is very naughty, I know, but I don't care. So, someone's got a cup. There we go, that was all very naughty. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow is general election day for the UK. So prepare yourself for a day of craziness if you're in the UK and crazy reporting. Thanks for watching as always, hope this helped. I think quite a good take on Golf Grip, give you some good ideas. I think it's been spoken about a hundred times already, but like I say, I still think people kind of miss the point of it. So post those comments down below. As always, love to hear what you got to say. Hit that subscribe button and come on. If you watch the video, hit the thumbs up. If you watch the video, hit thumbs up. If you watch the video, hit thumbs up. If you watch the video, you hit thumbs up. Like the video, hit the thumbs up. That's a good idea. Cheers, bruh.